What's up guys, The Racing Game Guy here, back in Forza Motorsport 6, which I haven't been in in a little while. I know I haven't posted in a couple days, but I'm, I've started finals week here, and I it's, it's beat me up, but I'm keeping up with it, and I haven't posted like all weekend, or yesterday, or anything, so I'm sorry guys, but I know you guys... My subscribers are awesome, so I hope you guys can understand. I'm sure a lot of you guys have finals week either this week or maybe in a week or two uh, as well. But I got on Forza Motorsport 6, and much to my surprise, there was a couple gifts. So one of them was like 200,000 credits, and the other one was this number three Corvette Racing C7R. Now, oops, I'm going to see what this thing has got, because this thing, this car is pretty beastly. It's pretty insane. So, naturally, I'm going to upgrade it, you know. Can't do tires or anything. Already got race tires. Already has gorgeous wheels. I can make the tires a little wider. Oh my gosh. A 325 in the front. That's insane. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm going to keep the wheels. Wheels. Oh, God. Oops. Sorry. My B. All right. Kind of surprised that there's even a, a drive shaft upgrade or anything. Holy crap, this thing is light. 20, less than 2,700 pounds. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. Restrictors all the way off. <laughs> Alright, how much power does this thing have? 623 horsepower, 615 foot-pounds of torque, which actually isn't a ridiculous amount, but being that this thing only weighs 2,660 pounds, traction is going to be non-existent, basically is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Traction is going to be non-existent. Hopefully I can adjust this to kind of account for that a little bit. Maybe, yeah, gearing looks good. Camber looks good. All the way lowered already. Yeah, 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 it all looks good. Maybe a little bit more downforce. Um, braking. There we go. Try that. And uh, let's go to test drive and see what this thing has got. Let's do Brands Hatch. Haven't done Brands Hatch in a while. I can't remember the last time I was here. But I kind of like the track because if you look down there on the bottom left, it's got some sweepers, got some hairpins, got some kind of 90 degree angle things going on. So it's a really, it's a good track for different types of curves. Oh geez. Like I said, traction is non-existent. Okay, this thing is crazy. <laughs> no traction in third gear. And this is the hairpin. Full 180. This thing makes a better drift car than it does race car. Which, that's not, it's not supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be a race car. It's not supposed to drift like this. And it's probably, definitely not helping my lap time with me drifting like that. It's just really hard to avoid. It takes cars like this that break traction really easy, that have a really really high uh, power to weight ratio they're hard to they can be hard to manage sometimes and you, you kinda gotta 
find more of a balance in the braking and the accelerating. But once you learn that balance, oh, you're going to have fun. Oh, gosh. See, that's what I'm saying. If you hit the brakes too hard, it tends to do that. Too hard or too constantly. I tend to kind of flash the brakes like that. Either that or I just go about 50%. Oh geez, that's what happens when you brake too hard. And that's what happens when you accelerate too hard. Just for examples, if you haven't had enough of them already. <laughs> ah, more into the grass than I want it to be. Little too early on the gas. Too early and too hard. All right. Let's see here. This thing is so fast. It's glorious. You can get away with more acceleration in a straight line. So if you gotta go like maybe 25, 50% pulling out of the curve and then just floor it once you get out of it. Oh God, no, no, I was doing decently. But if you just kind of floor it in a curve, you're gonna break traction like that. And I'm still nowhere near perfect with stuff like this, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to get better. The livery on this thing is amazing too. Like there's so much going on, but it looks good at the same time. It's not like it's not like a bad crowded. It's it's like a a good crowded. Looks really cool. I like all the multicolor stripes on it. Looks really neat. Whoops. Eh, why not? <laughs> I'm going to Formula Drift in a few days anyway. May as well, you know. Oh god, I stalled it. Oh my god, I stalled it. I'm going to Formula Drift in a few days anyway. May as well, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna start having fun with drifting. Oh god. Whoops, hopefully that doesn't happen at Formula Drift. They may not get too many points if that happens. Oh my god, again. Well, let's try that again. Come on. Come on, there we go. And zero traction whatsoever. First gear is basically useless. The first half of second gear is basically useless. If you're in a curve, all of second gear and pretty much all of third gear are useless. Which, there's another example. I'm, I'm giving too many examples of it. <laughs> I need to, uh, need to control it a little bit more. I just wish I had more distance in my triggers on my controller because it's hard to con it's hard to manage that stuff on a controller. Cuz you have with the triggers there's such a short distance that you you really don't have any like you don't have any room to control it. I imagine with a good wheel and pedal setup it would be really really easy. Well, maybe not really really super easy, but easier it'd be more natural for sure but let me try try readjusting the tune 
Maybe with a little less pressure, maybe I can get a little bit more traction. Don't want to adjust my front pressure too much. Alright, seems to... Hopefully I didn't speak too soon, but it seems to be doing good. Hopefully I don't have too little pressure. Seems to be better. But that's why I like test drive mode, because I can go back and make those little adjustments like that. Because I have done it to where I accidentally did, like, free play or something like that, where I can't tune in the game. And it's just a pain. Because then, like, I don't want to quit the race early, but then I have to wait until I'm done, drive the car on a bad tune, and it's like, blech. But, test drive, test drive is a really good feature. Yeah, I, I like this uh, tire pressure setup a little bit better. Would like a little bit more traction in the front, maybe 26 in the front. That way maybe I won't understeer as much in curves, because I'm kind of, it's kind of breaking traction in the front and wanting to understeer, which is, as it sounds, pretty undesirable. Let's see, let me get up to, let me like go through the next hairpin. Or I should say the hairpin. And see... See how we're doing here with this tune. I think I'm losing traction in the rear now, but not that much, so... I can manage it. You're never gonna get it perfectly. Not unless maybe you're, like, super good at tuning, which I am definitely not, as you guys can probably already know from watching my videos. But this tire pressure setup is working a lot better. Um, other various things in the tune that I could adjust, but... Tuning takes hours upon hours, and... I really don't have the time for that in a single video. Maybe once I, you know, work on my tuning skills, maybe then I can make a video on how to tune a car better. But... For now, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment down below on what you think. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that red ah Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. Thank you guys for watching.